Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. We have a DC Multiverse figure here today from McFarlane Toys, the Asriel Batman armor. Yeah, so this is the Asriel Batman from Curse of the White Knight, which I haven't read, but I'm a huge White Knight fan, and I've always wanted an Asriel Batman. I know I'm a fool from the 90s who thinks that Asriel Batman looked cool. I get it. I'll... 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 I, I'll say it, I think Ezreal Batman looks cool, sue me. But uh, this new Ezreal Batman is definitely cooler, and since I could never get a hold of the previous Ezreal Batman, I figured, hey, this one's gonna be a better figure anyways, let's definitely check it out. Plus I've always wanted an Ezreal, and I've never gotten an Ezreal either. And I'm, I need the white, curse of the white knight Ezreal. But here's the Ezreal Batman in package. Thank goodness he's not posed up too much. Got a nice sword in there, ages 12 and up, legal stuff top uh the sides oh yeah look at those sides and then there's the nice art on the back and then i want all these figures at the bottom i hate that mcfarlane's only making batman stuff basically like he's bait mcfarlane is focusing entirely on scott snyder greg capullo batman stuff uh, pretty much. So I need the Dawnbreaker, I need the Devastator, I need the Murder Machine, and I need the Grim Knight, because I really love the Dark Multiverse stuff. I would like Dark Multiverse figures from the Tales of the Dark Multiverse as well. But then there's also that Asriel, which I've seen a few times in past up, because he was too expensive at GameStop. That being said, I did get this guy from GameStop. Because <laughs> I'm a hippopotocrit. But yeah, let's open him up. And here he is out of package, the Asriel Batman armor from Batman Curse of the White Knight. This figure is so cool! It's so regal! Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to get into him, but first we're going to talk about accessories. Bye-bye. Okay, so his main accessory is this big sword. I'm not going to display him with the sword because I plan on displaying the Asriel with his sword. So, no sword for you. Sorry. But like all McFarlane figures, he comes with the DC stand, which he does kind of need, actually, because mine doesn't want to stand right all the time. And the, well, I, I guess for lack of a better word, trading card. With the comic art and then the read-up and stuff on the back, which I will give to you. Asriel Batman Armor, Batman Curse of the White Knight data file. Source, Batman Curse of the White Knight, number 8, comic 2020. Real name, Jean-Paul Valley. Height, 6 feet, 4 inches. He's taller than me. Screw that. Weight, 250 pounds. At least he weighs more than me. War veteran, Knight of the Order of St. Dumas, and now the Joker's key recruit in the crusade against Batman. Asriel, the Dark Knight's most powerful new threat, and the one living link to a devastating secret about the Wayne family's legacy in Gotham City. In an effort to overthrow Batman, Asriel dons an armored bat suit of his own and threatens to take control of the city. Very cool. Very cool. But then here is the prize. The beautiful Asriel Batman. Oh, he's thick. Oh, that is a thick boy. Mm. I, I love it. His cape actually has these tabs that go under the shoulder pads. You have to put them under there. Oh, and the cape just looks so good. I I wish adult collectible toy lines would start giving us cloth capes, to be completely honest. But for a plastic cape, that's pretty dope. Oof. He looks completely different from the 90s Asriel Batman. Like, completely different. He is scary looking. He really is. All the gold and the black and the silver. It really works for him. They kept the claws, though. That's that's important. He's got little red eyes. And... Oh, he's nice. The detail and paint are quite exquisite. Now, articulation. You have up and down on the head. Side to side on the head, but not very far because he's blocked by his collar. Um, the shoulder pads are actually on balls. So you can get the cape under it, and so you can move the arm more here. You see, you got like kind of a kind of a butterfly thing, but not really. You know, that thing the McFarlands have up and down, forward and back, bicep swivel, single elbow bend. Uh, you got forward and back on the wrists, rotation on the wrists. You can turn that joint, by the way. Uh, and then you got waist. Well, ab. That's ab. This down here is waist, but it doesn't really move so much in and out on the legs forward and back he doesn't really have a butt so he can go back pretty far 
His butt's actually kind of a rubber covering, so that's pretty cool. Ah, got a double knee bend there. And then you got a rotation on the foot, uh, up and down. But the ankle pivot? Not really there. Not there, which is suspicious. Why no ankle pivot? You could kind of make an ankle pivot like that, but then you lose your forward and back. So why not both? And of course you already saw the toe joint. But yeah, Asriel Batman looks very, very cool. So now we're gonna get into some size comparisons. Here he is with some figures from some extinct DC Comics lines. Here on the left, you have the DC Icons Blue Beetle. And on the right, the Mattel Kyle Rayner Blue Lantern. And God, he looks like he could crush them. He just really, and like, look how big he is compared to them. Here he is with some figures more up to scale with him. On the left, the McFarlane DC Multiverse White Knight Batman. So that's definitely the Batman you'll want to display him with. One, because they're from the same comic universe and their same line, but yeah, they look pretty good together. I like how he's a little bigger than him, more imposing. And then on the right we have the DC Essential Superman. I believe that line... Didn't it come to an end recently? Because didn't DC Collectibles, like, die? So yeah, that's the DC Collectibles, DC Essentials. Soup, soup, Superman! And I think he looks pretty good with him, too. So all in all, what are my final thoughts on the McFarlane DC Multiverse Asriel Batman armor from Batman, Curse of the White Knight? It's very cool. Glad I went hunting for it today. It's just a really dope design and a really dope figure. I don't think it's quite as good as the White Knight Batman himself, but it's still very, very nice. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll see you all next time.